What's up guys? Today we're gonna fix this problem here, which is my brake line. Uh, if you see, it's super clean here because that was a brake booster and ABS. I deleted all of it and put this Chase Base kit, which is awesome. But when I was kinking the, the rear lines, which is the hard lines that goes all the way to left and right rear brakes, uh, I probably damaged the flare. So it was leaking very slowly uh, once I tied that on that block. So I bought a little kit uh, to make a flare. So it's a flare kit. And this kit is to make bubble flare. So we're gonna make bubble flare. I'm gonna make another video uh, showing how to make double flare and bubble flare. Apparently single flare is not even a thing anymore. Shouldn't, shouldn't, nobody should do that ever. Uh, but I won't comment on that. I just don't know. Uh, what we're gonna do is, you see here there are a few um, holes and the holes has a tiny bit of step in it. Um, as opposed to the double flare, it has a cone inside. So this one has a little bit of step. We're gonna get a three, uh, three sixteenths. I think uh, here's in millimeters. Is it there six millimeters or four and seventy fives? I think this is a six millimeters. Uh, it looks like it. And we're gonna get the adapter and start doing this. Let's do it together. Okay. So one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this thing here, squeeze and put in here just to catch some fluid that might spill out. I already tried this once, uh, so the fluids are very low. I took some of the fluid of this with a syringe and a piece of a tube, and so it's kind of empty, shouldn't bother anymore. So I'm gonna remove this from here hope you can see and we're gonna get started all right so that's the third time I'm trying to do this what happens is this is the bubble one uh, there's another one for double flare and single flare so trying to find a part here uh, there's the yoke and this little adapter right one first mistake I made in here uh, the brake line fits on the second one, which is six, six millimeters, but this adapter is 4.7 millimeters. The six millimeter doesn't fit. Uh, I made the uh, flare in there, of course, when I put it in the car, it spill oil everywhere. So I came again, I got a little piece of tube and I made a flare. I'm gonna show you. With I guess you can kind of see right yeah see how beautiful it is so this one I made putting my tube on the first one which is 4.7 even though when I close it doesn't close all the way which kind of makes sense because if it closes all the way it means that it's not squeezing right anyway I made one flare so far look at that so with that said uh, there's not a lot to the bore or, or I mean it is clean this is very very clean uh, yep and my thing goes all the way to the end which the other one was a little tight so my lesson is we gotta use where oh look at how much stuff I have uh, we gotta use the 4.7 so let's do it together I'm going to get this here, put on a 4.7, uh, not going to tie it a lot, you know this story, right? And put this in there, squeeze, put this in there, I like to have a little, a little extra, almost nothing. Yep, that's perfect. I'm going to tighten this guy first. And before I keep tightening, I'm gonna get the tool measured again. That's perfect. 
Okay. And now I'm going to hold like this so I don't twist anything. Okay. Good to go. Now, yoke. Yoke stern. Let's put this guy in here. And done. Okay. 13 millimeter again. Okay. It shouldn't be too hard, but I'm gonna hold like this. Somehow it was harder before when I was doing on the six millimeter. Ah, sorry, my arm is right in the camera. Okay. Oh dang. Okay. I just want to see if I oh. Oh yeah, I think big time. There you go. So, one thing that happens now, and this is another thing I wanted to show. <laughs> this year, I'm turning, but it's not, not coming up. So it is gonna be hard to bring that up later. So now, that you have all these things in here. You can try to push this up or you hold the yoke, get a little hammer. And hammer this out. Look at that. Nice. So there you go. It's another one, nice and pretty. I'm gonna see, uh, oh yeah, it goes up all the way. Nice, <clears throat> so I hope this time Nice, there you go. And now I have my fitting here, where is it? This is the next day here, um, I wrapped up last night it was done um, so I just put a, this little piece of paper wrapped in there and I slam on the brakes put a little bit more fluid which is here um, so I would be sure that the fluid would come out um, yeah and I put the part I wanted and it's not leaking anymore so as you see those are my flares I don't know if you can see clearly, uh, but yeah, they work perfectly, they fit perfectly. BMW has bubble flare. Um, just so you be aware, because I end up getting two tools there up there, one for double flare and one for bubble flare. So the double flare expects the bottom to be like this. So when it goes on top, it kind of seals and the bubble flares the other way around. It expects the bottom to be like this and the bubble is like the, op the opposite. So it fits together. So yeah. And now as you know, because we emptied out and we have air and all that stuff, I'll need to bleed the whole system, the whole brakes and um, the clutch also which is right there so this is going to be a subject for another video consider subscribing this car is almost about to start for the first time this is my fresh new build 2JZ um, into my BMW and it's my drift car so I hope you see my next videos don't forget to leave a little comment here if you have anything to say that little like button also helps and I'll see you on the next video
Sea Status. I'm eating some McDonald's.